What's up, doorbellians? This channel's not supposed to be a doorbell video channel, obviously, but ever since the first one, I've been getting a lot of requests to do more doorbell videos. So I've been thinking about what to do next, and I mean, obviously by the title of the video, I thought, might be sick to see what you guys think. If you aren't aware of this doorbell, this doorbell is programmable. <laughs> I really hope Michael Reeves has seen <laughs> the, first, the first video, because he's just be like, fuck you, that's not programming. <laughs> Sorry, Michael Reeves and everybody who actually puts effort into programming things. But that being said, it's actually not that hard to kind of program this, so I wanted to show you how you also could do this. The way it works is each individual note has a key here, and each rhythm has another key, kind of corresponding with each one. In the booklet here, and I'm gonna show something on the screen, you can see that each note has a number. It's within two octaves. If you go above this octave, you have to use an asterisk before the number to indicate that it is above the octave. And then you use this number for the rhythm, whether or not it's a eighth note, quarter note, whatever. If you have a song in mind, here's how I would do it. Here's how I did it for this one. And while I'm explaining it, uh, I wonder if you guys can figure out what song it is. The first thing I would do is actually write out the sheet music of each individual note, then write out the letter name for each note, and then what you can do is using this key, just write down the first number for each letter note. So in this case, this is G sharp, which on the key is eight. A sharp is A, C sharp is one. Then after you've written each individual note here, then you go down and write down the rhythm of each one. The smallest unit is an eighth note, unfortunately. So if you've got a 16th note, all you gotta do is just bump everything up one. So 16th becomes eighth note, eighth note becomes quarter note. Are you guys lost yet? <laughs> I figure like there's gonna be a lot of you like nerds out there who are like, oh yeah, I got this, let's do it. Just so, it. so if you guys have an idea for a song, I would love for you to put it in the comments, put the code out, say what it is, and if you don't wanna go through all that trouble, still scroll down and see if there's any songs that you think might be kinda cool. For Halloween, we decided that it would be cool to do this. Test them. Test them. <laughs> I think I would know how to do this at this point. <laughs> Luigi's Mansion 3 was a great game. It's almost December. This is like the doorbell equivalent to leaving your Christmas tree up until like February. Um, so we're gonna change to something cool. You write program first. So I hit the program button and then I just go through each and every one of these. So, speed up. Then after the code's put in, you put zero zero at the end to indicate that the code is done. Let's see how it sounds. Did you guys get what the song is? Yeah. It's a little bit slow because I had to bump everything up, but then tell me what tempo you want it to be. Because it can either be slow, medium, or fast. I don't know the actual BPM of it, but uh, we're going to set this one to fast. And this is my new doorbell. Pretty sick. I'm really interested to see what you guys uh, think of in the comments. Uh, new tone, new tone, new tone. Sponsor. 